Hi YouTube, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to delete a Windows update on Windows 10. Uh, sometimes after a Windows 10 update, uh, you'll have an uh, issue or problems on your Windows and then uh, you can actually uh, choose an update that you want to delete uh, from the Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. So click the Windows Start button in the bottom left. Click Settings. In here, click update and security now we are looking for view update history click that in here you'll see all the windows updates that were installed previously uh, for example the first one it says successfully installed on 2021 july 31st and there's a windows update title with the unique identification code if you click them then it will show you all the details of the update and that's not all you can do in here. You can do more. You can delete uh, these updates that you don't want to be uh, installed on your machine. So we're going to go ahead and try to delete an update. So click on install updates on the top here. And it will show you all the installed Windows updates. And you can just click anything that you don't want from your machine. If you look at here, uninstall. By clicking that, you can uh, go ahead and delete this update. Uh, let me make it bigger here. It will show you all the details, uh, not the names for the update and the identification code. I don't have uh, Office 2007 anymore, so I'm going to delete this one, for example. Click this. It will confirm. Uh, yes. Then it will try to delete this update from your Windows 10. Okay, uh, this update is gone. Unfortunately, not all the updates are removable, which means if you don't see an update that you want to delete, that means you cannot delete that update from your machine. In case when you do not see the updates that you want to delete, then you have to try something else. Recovery options, and then go back to the previous version of Windows 10. Well, it says this option is no longer available because your PC was updated more than 10 days ago. When you have a big Windows 10 update, you have a chance to go back to the previous version of the Windows uh, within 10 days. So if you're having problems with the new update and if this option is available, you can click get started to go back to the previous state of Windows 10. Otherwise, you have to do a, a system restore or maybe you should try to reset this PC, but this will remove all the applications from your Windows 10 so a lot of people actually don't want to do this reset option. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please uh, leave comments if you have any question. I'll do my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.